I can tell you how I think it will happen because it won't happen in the uh, normal course of events. Either the Republican or Democrat political party will nominate a man for president and a woman for vice president. And the woman and man will win. So you'll end up with a, a president, a male, and a vice president, a female. And in that term of office of the president, the president will die. You guys have ever seen The Simpsons? There are moments within The Simpsons that they yes. just make ludicrous predictions that 20, 30 years down <laughs> the line end up just happen. Yeah. One of the best ones is Trump coming down the elevator, introducing that he's going to run for president. That yeah. happened in The Simpsons. It's very weird. <laughs> so, uh, again, th th we have the video, so we'll show it in one minute. But essentially, uh, former president Gerald Ford, I believe in 1989, is attending an event uh, alongside with some, some school children right. in, I believe it's Iowa. Uh, at the Ooh. Herbert Hoover uh, Museum and Library. I'm sorry if I got the wrong state. Sorry, Herbert Hoover. Sorry, Iowa. Um, yeah. Nonetheless, essentially, he is uh, taking questions from the children, and, yeah. and this is the nice question a young girl had <laughs> for him. Mr. Ford, what advice would you give a young lady wanting to become President of the United States? Well, I hope we do have a young lady at some point become president of the United States. Uh, I can tell you how I think it will happen because it won't happen in the uh, normal course of events. Either the Republican or Democrat political party will nominate a man for president and a woman for vice president and the woman and man will win. So you'll end up with a, a president, a male, and a vice president, a female. And in that term of office of the president, the president will die. And the woman will become president under the law or constitution. And once that barrier is broken, from then on, men better be careful. Because they'll have a hard, hard time ever even getting a nomination in the future. But that's the way it's going to happen, and I uh, think it'll probably come sometime in the next uh, four or eight years. So, of course, two things to point out. One, I don't want to... Uh make this seem as me predicting Joe Biden is going to die. Yeah. That's not <laughs> that's how good, I want to make this. That's a good thing to point out. I don't out. want to yeah. implicate Joe Biden's death in any way, shape, yeah, or form. Yeah. Although if I were a betting man. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to that, it's also extremely interesting that uh, the current president, who often daughters and forgets some details, uh, right. Gerald Ford, if I'm mistaken, was referred to by former President Lyndon Baines Johnson as someone who cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Mm. So two doddering men. Yeah. Kind of complimenting one another, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but so if we take this and this does occur, President Kamala Harris will take the helm. Uh, in my view, President Kamala Harris is a much easier opponent yeah. in 2024 than I believe Joe Biden is or, uh, in, the, in the field of Democrats. And my reasoning is this. She has no friends within her own caucus. Or maybe, okay, within the inner Beltway D.C. establishment, yeah. she is, she's championed. The leftists who I talk to do not like her. Yes. Libertarians, anybody on the right, anybody, if this is a yeah. political, anybody this way. Yeah. Not a fan <laughs> yeah. of, uh, of, of Miss Harris, Mrs. Yeah. Harris. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this may be a blessing to the GOP if she does happen to take over? Well, she, the, she lost the nomination for a very good reason. <laughs> And, and, and massively lost yeah, it. Yeah. This was not by a couple points, folks. This was the landslide. Yeah, Joe Biden Crippling is, defeat. Joe Biden is a bit of a doormat. And it's, it's just hard to have any emotion towards him. And that's been one of his bigger strengths as of late. And 
Kamala Harris, on the other hand, is very easy to hate and very easy to hate for progressives, conservatives, even establishment Democrats don't like some of the farther left positions she's taken. So, no, she that would be a gift from on high to us <laughs> if she were to become president. Yeah, I, I, ag I agree completely with that. She comes across as unbelievably condescending um, and flippant Yes, and flippant uh, with the yeah. little, the. And you d you don't want to be overly personal with these things, mm. but the it is true. Optics mean something. Yes. The cackling laugh and uh, she does she doesn't seem to me to be able to connect with an audience. I could be wrong. I, I've I've never been in the same room with her, so I, I don't know that. She for embodies sure. a lot of the Hillaryisms. I was just uh, yeah. I was thinking yes. that it, it, Hillary is also so condescending yeah. and um, so arrogant. But, uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. We don't wish Joe Biden any ill no. at all. No, he is old. I mean, the 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 chances of him dying in office increase every day. Yeah, that's true for anybody. But, uh, you know, the, they're increasing a lot faster yeah. <laughs> yeah. for him. He's at that point in the curve where the curve it's really is, starting yeah. to go up each day. <laughs> um so, yeah, I mean, God bless. I, I don't wish yes. the man, I don't personally wish the man any ill at all. Absolutely. However, uh, it, it probably would be a really good political scenario for yeah. for conservatives. I mean, she would end, now that's kind of a funny thought too, because you end up having Ford taking over from uh, 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 Nixon. Right, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And being fairly unpopular yes. and yes. then things falling out from under him yeah. there it, it would be interesting if he were the one who prophesied her ascension and then mm -hmm. she kind of falls apart similar to the yeah. way he did uh i like the idea however that well first off uh, when that video started it looked to me like gerald Gerald Ford had eaten a number of bad plums. <laughs> uh, he, he did not like, can you put the preview of that back on the screen for just a second? If you have, if you don't have it, it's okay. But I, I thought it was the funniest thing yeah. in the world. He looks so sour looking at a bunch of sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, right, right there, yeah. right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. The plums are not sitting well. Um, <laughs> and, and then I love that the message he essentially sends the little girl who says, how can, how can I be president one day? Well, you can kill the president. Game yeah. The yeah. You game the system. <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. Game the system. You won't be elected on your own merit, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. does give him an eight to, I believe it's four to eight years. <laughs> yeah, which so, is a little off. A little yeah. off. Um, yeah, and it looks, it really does look like he's going about <laughs> to approach some of the hardest hitting journalistic questions yeah. ever to come to him yeah. in front of a group of nine year olds. <laughs> nine -year -olds but it's yeah. a good, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a reasonable question, especially from a question. from a little girl. Uh, what a, a weird an weird answer, though. I don't. That would not be. Yeah, that is really odd. That would not be exactly what I would say. Well, Susie, you won't get it on your own. You got to hope the guy in front yeah. of you croaks. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but interesting. So, the stuff you find out there on slower news days is actually really neat. <laughs>